Hey, John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. Uh, today, I'm going to answer an email about specialization. So I did a blog post uh, this last week, uh, at least at the time we're recording this video, right, on, um, on basically uh, don't overwhelm yourself uh, trying to learn too much. And it, kind of the idea of that blog post was that, hey, there's too much to learn. Like, you don't need to spend your nights and weekends like reading technical books about all these different technologies. You can kind of uh, cut back a little bit and focus on a particular technology or a particular thing that you're using and, and try to do more rather than read too much. And But you know, basically one of the things I said in there was that you should specialize. So uh, I get an email uh, asking for some clarification. I'll read you part of this, this email. It says, uh, I wanted to ask you something about, the, about what you said in the article. You mentioned that it's important to find a specialty. I wanted to see if I could get you to clarify that a bit. Yeah, how narrow of a specialization do you mean? For example, most of my work is on Java web app applications. I work with Spring MVC on the Java end and uh, heavy JavaScript on the front end. Is this too broad of a specialization? What I mean is, should your specialty be limited to a single language or technology, e.g. gain a deep knowledge of just Java or just JavaScript or across a, a single functional area, web applications? So yeah, great question. I mean, this is, I, every time I talk about specialties, I, I get questions like this. This is a pretty confusing topic and, and it's difficult. I mean, this is the hard thing, right? In, in my How to Market Yourself as a Software Developer course, I talk about branding and, and basically specialty. And that's the hardest thing to do is to come up with this and to commit to this and figure out what, you know, how big and how, how small or how small should it be? How deep should you specialize? A part of to understand this is you have to understand why are you specializing? What is the reasoning behind this? There's, there's kind of, sort of two reasons. One is because you want to be able to market yourself in, in a specialty, right? You need to, uh, have a thing that you do that people know you for in order to be able to succinctly say what you do. Uh, the example I always use is this plumbing example, right? If if you are the garbage disposal fix it man, if that's your specialty, it's, you might be a plumber, but if your specialty is fixing garbage disposals, that might be a ridiculous example. But if someone has a broken garbage disposal, they know that you, to call you, right? That this is a very good thing. Right, all the plumbers that they look up, you know, they're gonna pick you because of that specialty. So having that specialty, not having a specialty, gives you, uh, you know, those kind of clients or that 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 sort of reputation to be able to take on those pain points, and, and it, it gives you uh, something more than just being generic. I'm just a job developer. I'm a good C sharp developer, right? I, or, or worse off is, is to say, I do this and this and this and that and that, right? And you list 50 different things. I mean, that's that I, I realize that that is, is quite an accomplishment to, to know all those different programming languages and work in those different technologies. I work in a lot of different technologies and programming languages, but that's not what people generally want to hear, right? They want to hear that you are going to address their specific problem. Hey, they need a SharePoint expert. Are you a SharePoint expert? Hey, they need a, a SQL Server guru. I don't care that you can work on SQL Server. Is that what you do? Because I want to hire the expert. That's, you know, people want to hire experts. So that's one of the reasons, right? The other reason for specializing is because, like I said, you can't learn everything. So you need to figure out where you're going to devote your time. If you play this this gambling of, of learning these different technologies and you don't know which ones you're going to use in the future or which one's going to take off, and you just keep on expending your energy learning all these different things in these different areas that aren't going to benefit you right now, uh, you're, you're going to be wasting a lot of time. You're going to be taking a gamble, right? It's better if you can focus a large portion of the energy in one direction that you can get a real deep knowledge that, that's going to be very valuable to you because that really, really deep knowledge in one area becomes extremely, extremely valuable. You know, I'll give you an, an example. Uh, one of my specialties, and you can have more than one, but one of my specialties is doing test automation, right? So for Selenium and doing test automation, I can tell you how to create an automation framework. I've invested a lot of time, a lot of effort in knowing that very deeply and being very familiar with that. So I can charge a lot of money. I can charge a very high hourly rate to help people with this specific problem. And they look for me to solve that, that problem for them. So that's just an example, right? So that's that's why you would you'd want to 
to specialize for those two reasons. The marketability of having something uh, specific and having that deep knowledge of focus. You, you can focus your energies. You're more effective when you focus. So now, based on that, that is how you can figure out how deep you should specialize, right? You can specialize in something like a programming language, but you need kind of a, a gimmick to it, a twist to it, right? Let's say you want to be uh, an expert Java developer. Okay, well, there's a lot of expert Java developers. Hopefully every Java developer is an expert Java developer. But if you're specializing in the Java language, that you see, that's kind of broad. So you need a twist to it. You need to say, I uh, find all of the difficult areas of the Java language, and I am an expert in those areas. I, I, I can, can untangle big messes. I can basically find all the pitfalls, and I read a blog about all the pitfalls of Java, the hard parts of the language, the obscure features that people don't know about, and I explain them. That would be a specialty. That that's a little bit harder to do, right? Or you could be, you know, you could be so good at debugging hard Java problems because you are an expert in the language. So you're the Java debugger guru, right? That would be a specialty as well. Again, another more it's more difficult when you're broad, right? To take my specialty, simple programmer, making the complex simple. My specialty is pretty broad, you know, <laughs> it's, it's very difficult. I have to, you know, to, to say what I do and to, to communicate my message is very difficult. If I, you know, if I were starting out, I would pick a different, a, a tighter specialty, but I, I sort of fell into this. I, it, it takes a lot of effort though, to keep, to keep this up. So the broader it is, the, the harder it is, right? The smaller it is, the, the, the uh, more defined your market is, it's going to be easier to tap into that market. Broader your specialty, bigger market, much more harder, much more difficult to build a name in that market, much more difficult to gain traction. Uh, this is, you know, the big fish in the, in the small pond or the small pond, uh, the, the, the small fish in the big pond type of, of thing, right? If you're the small fish in the big pond, it's, it's difficult because you, you, there's so many big fish. It's, it's, you know, you have to really fight your way and grow. If you're the big fish in the small pond, you've got a huge advantage, but the pond is fairly small. Now, uh, as long as it's, you, you wanna find the right size pond, right? So if you can specialize in something that is going to give you enough, if you're freelancing enough clients, then that's to, for, to pay your salary, to, to give you a living, then you wanna go as small as you can that meets that criteria because that's gonna be, uh, you're gonna address pain points better, you're gonna be more specific, it's gonna be easier to get those clients and get that business. If you're a career developer, working for someone else, the same still applies. Where is the job market? Can you, you know, you might not want to pick some kind of very, very tightly obscure specialty where there won't be any jobs. But if you can pick one where there's just enough jobs that in your area that you could get uh, a job when you need one and, and, and rise up the ranks because of that specialty, that's a good thing. So, you know, circling back around, I, you know, I want to sort of try to answer the question directly as much as possible. I think something like Java, C Sharp, unless you add a twist to it, unless you're going to do the marketing and, and, and really, um, you know, make it so that you can succeed in that, that bigger pond, that's not good. What you want to do is specialize lower down. You could be a full stack specialization. So you could specialize and say, you know, I do Spring MVC and in, in that, that full stack, or you could uh, specialize on the front end with this particular JavaScript framework. That would be a really good thing to do. The more specific in general, the better that you can get away with. Um, and, and, you, and you can do other types of things like uh, being, being someone who's known for, uh, for a way that they present information or of, of even of your personality, um, but that goes more into the branding side. But as far as specializing in technology, you, you want to be, like I said, as low down as possible, as small as possible of a specialization where it makes sense. If you go too, too far, then you know, you'll, you'll know it. But, but, but err on the side of, of being more specific than less specific. And you might think that when you do this, that there's not gonna be enough business, that there's not gonna be enough value there, that no one's gonna wanna have you know, that really, uh, that expert in, in Hibernate or, or whatever it is, or Spring MVC, or some, some part of Spring MVC, but there will be. There will be, right? It, 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 it's, um, unless you pick something that's extremely, extremely small and, and you're stuck to some geographic area that's, that's also small, right? That, that's the other piece of this. So if you're looking for a job 
and you're in uh, in in Boonhickville, right, where there's like one company or two tech companies, uh, you, you can't specialize in whatever you want unless you're willing to move, right? So so you might have to be more broad, right? The the the, the but if you're living in somewhere like New York City or San Francisco, and there's a, a huge number of jobs, and, and and you're you know you're looking for a local job. Yeah, you can specialize down pretty pretty small, and you're probably going to find companies that are going to match up with you. So hopefully that that clears things up. Uh, you know, I, I can't just make it simple. I wish I could, but this is a difficult thing. So a lot, you know, a lot of people struggle with this. You just got to think it out. Got to. You might have to try different things, and you can have multiple specialties. Start with one though, and and try to really focus on 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 getting a deep knowledge there, marketing yourself based on that specialty and try to make it specific as, as much as possible so that you can be the garbage disposal fix it man not you know Joe's plumbing well hopefully that helps uh, give me uh, a, 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 a thumbs up if you like this video or you know comment on it if you have any questions and uh, and you can always email me or, or ask uh, ask a question in a comment I'll try to answer some of those uh, those those comments and uh, and subscribe to to the channel if you if you like this video if you'd like to see more all right Take care.